Michelle here. It is crazy, crazy hot outside. 100 plus degrees for the next two days. And then I think it's in the upper 80s the day after that. And then it actually drops into the upper 70s, which will be super nice because I have a garden party on Sunday that I scheduled like a month ago, not knowing what the weather was gonna be like. And today is a great day to be inside to do some DIY projects that I'm going to actually use one piece from this project at my garden party. So I thought that we would do some upcycling today and just do some fun little projects with wood. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you kind of what I found and what I'm going to use to do our little DIY projects. So the first one I'm gonna use is this drawer. And you can see, this is like a drawer that came out of like a cupboard that you would pull out. And I found it at Restore for 50 cents. And I'm gonna turn it into a tray, into a serving tray. And then we're gonna use the serving tray at the garden party. And I'm gonna put things like, you know, your salt, peppers, jams, and things like that are gonna be in the serving tray and we're gonna use it on the table. So I won't use it just for that, I'll use it for other things too, but there we go. My 50 cent drawer that we're gonna upcycle into a beautiful tray. And then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make some little shelves out of some wood discs. So let me grab those. I have these wood slices that we have this, um, I, don't, I don't know if I call it a lumber yard, but it's a tree service place and you can go there and they will slice wood discs for you out of the trees, however you want them. So I had these sliced a couple years ago. I probably have 30 or 40 of them upstairs because we use them as risers in the store. But I thought that I would make two hanging shelves out of these and we're gonna put a little plant on them and I'm gonna use these in my front porch area. So we're gonna be doing that today as well. Super duper easy crafts that you can do and it doesn't take a whole lot of anything to put them together, but I'll take you through and let's just have some fun today. All right, I am going to be using the Smart Coat Eggshell Interior Wall Paint because it's what I have. I'm just gonna shake it up. And I'm actually going to be thinning this down just a little bit. So I'm just, yeah, you gotta like my little knife here that I'm gonna use to open that up. All right, and what I'm gonna do is in my little paint can here, I am just gonna add a little bit of paint to this. I don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water, okay? So just, just enough water to thin it down just a little bit. And I can use my brush to mix that up. So I just wanna thin it down. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to paint just part of the inside of this. Let me show you here. Okay, I'm just gonna be painting this edge right here. And I want it to kind of have a little bit of a whitewashed look to it. Now I'm going to be Mod Podging paper down here on this part. So I'm not so worried about getting paint there. So I just want to paint this, this outside part. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. We'll move this over here. There we go. So I'm just going to paint all of this. Now we're gonna let it dry. All right, so while we're waiting for our paint to dry, let's go ahead and put our shelves together. These are super easy. So basically I need a wood disc, okay? And then I need some beads because I'm gonna string some beads through the bottom. Okay, I got these at Michael's, all right? And then I need some kind of, um, I don't know, rope or cord or something to hang them with. So I'm going to be using this here. I also bought this at Michael's. I bought two rolls just in case one wasn't enough. I need a sewing needle because it's gonna make it easier. Now this is a big fat needle, so a little one isn't gonna work. You gotta have the eye of the needle big enough to thread whatever cord it is that you're using through it. And then I need a drill bit, okay? So I need a drill bit. And the drill bit, oh, and of course you need a drill, okay? The drill bit is gonna be dependent on, you know, how thick is this cord that you're using? So if I were to look at this cord and I see how thick that is, it's not very thick, okay? And I wanna be able to thread it through the hole. I probably only want, you know, my drill bit to be this thick for the one that I'm using, okay? 
So let me get it on my drill here. Get in there. All right, he's in. All right, so let me reposition the camera and I'll show you what I'm doing. Super easy. I'm gonna drill three holes. One, two, three. All right, so I'm just gonna take my drill. And drill it all the way through. Now, before I drill any more holes, I'm gonna make sure that that's gonna work for what I am doing. So I am going to thread my little needle here with the cord that I'm using, okay? And make sure that I can push that through, which I can, perfect, okay? So that's the perfect size hole, and I'm gonna do three of them. Now I do wanna make them equal distance all the way around, so I am gonna measure this and mark my other holes and then drill my other holes. Okay, so I'm gonna take my tape measure, go from the edge, and I'm gonna go an inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna go right there. And then I'm gonna go here. And here. All right, then I take my drill bit and I'm gonna drill right through the wood. And I'm gonna make three holes. So this is where I'm going to be hanging my shelves and I'm going to keep using these uh, metal balls in here but I'm going to hang two shelves at different heights coming down through these and then I'm going to put a small plant on them. So when I measure my cord I need to see how much cord I have so I'm going to go from where I'm going to mount it down so I make sure I cut them long enough. All right now I know how long to make my cord. Inside we go. So I do have to give myself a little extra cord, you know, for tying off and things like that. So I am gonna add a little bit to this and I'm gonna get three pieces that are gonna be the same length for my first one. And then I want the second one to be a little bit longer. So then I'm gonna get my next pieces for that one and make it a little bit longer. Oh, I tangled it. <laughs> I'm gonna make that one a little bit longer. So, and here we go. All right, there's my first one right there. And let me get my second one. I know that I want this one to be longer. Okay, how long is this one? And then I want this one to be longer. So, let me bring it in here. And I'm gonna make it about that much longer. And I might, you know, I'd rather have extra and I can always trim it up versus I don't have enough. And then I wasted my cord and I might not have enough. All right, I took the little beads off of their string that they were on and I'm gonna take my cord and thread it through my needle, okay? And then I'm just gonna pull it through my little hole to the other side, okay? Then what I wanna do is on each one, I wanna string two of these beads on like this and then I'm going to unthread it and then I'm just going to tie a knot at the bottom and I need the knot to be big enough that the beads won't fall through the knot so I'm going to do it I don't know four times so as you can see here See, I just made a knot and it's gonna stay on there. And then I'll just trim this down here at the bottom. But see, then when it comes over, I've got this little decorative piece on the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna do that with each of my holes and just get all both of them threaded up. Okay, so I found my wood discs. I drilled my holes. I threaded my little uh, cord through here. I put my beads on the end and then tied those off. And then look. I now have two shelves to go hang up. Now, when I hang these up, I am gonna use an eye hook and I'm gonna tie 
the top of this however long I want it to be on the eye hook and I am going to use a level on the actual shelf to make sure that it's not you know all wonky and crooked so that way it'll be ready to go with my little plant on there so let's go get a level and let's go hang them up Okay, so that took me several tries to get that hung up, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. But I'm really super happy to be back inside because it was incredibly hot out there doing that. And I think that's why it took me so long and so many tries because I was just like, all I could think about was how hot I was. And that was just, ooh. Okay, so our drawer has now dried, okay? And as you can see, I didn't paint the bottom, but I did paint the sides. I didn't really need to paint right here, but I did anyways. Because what I'm gonna do now is I am going to take my sander and I have some uh, medium sandpaper number 80 here and I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit just to give it a little bit of a worn look, kind of on the edges and the corners. And I do have a little dust bag that catches my dust for me. Uh, so I'm just gonna do that real fast. <laughs> I just wanted to scuff it up a little bit, just make it look a little worn. So that works for me, and we will be coating it with some of that clear poly. But what we're going to do first is now we're going to Mod Podge the bottom. All right, we're going to Mod Podge the bottom with this Mod Podge right here. And then I cut a piece of old wrapping paper to fit this, the size right here. See, I found this pretty, this pretty floral print right here. And so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm going to be putting glue here. Okay, I antiqued it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and I'm gonna put a thin coat of Mod Podge down here at the bottom. So just a nice thin layer, just like that. Then I have this really pretty piece of wrapping paper that I found. And now I'm just gonna take the wrapping paper and slide it down in here. There we go. And I'm gonna get all the wrinkles out of it. And it's okay if it doesn't 100% fit to the edge because I'm gonna add another element to this to hide any imperfections that I have on the edges. And then I'm gonna put another, see, and then I'm gonna put another layer of Mod Podge over the top. So I'm making sure I get it in the corners 
and I'm covering everything up. So the next thing I did was I did buy some sisal or some hemp rope here and I'm going to use the hemp and I'm going to do an outline all the way around the outside edge. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off here, scissors. I'm just going to cut off the little, they have like a little, I don't know, plastic thing there. I'm just going to cut that off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to put some glue along the edges there and I'm gonna lay my sisal in there. And I'm gonna go all the way around the outside edge. And as I'm going, let me grab this. There we go. I'm gonna add some glue along the edges as I go. With my glue gun. And I'm gonna go all the way up and do this whole inside edge and just keep going. All right, last piece. And I originally hadn't planned on putting the rope all the way up like this, but you know how you do a project and sometimes it just takes on a life of its own. And I just kept going because I thought it looked good. And so, yeah. Um, the ends here are a little bit wider than the sides, so I just cut a little piece to glue in there. Get all my little cobwebbies out of here. Now I have to let this thing completely dry. Let me get all those. Okay, see? Check it out. Isn't that cool? Okay, sometimes projects take on a life of their own. I ended up taking the sisal rope and going all the way around the inside edge. I have a big... <laughs> there we go glue web there's pulling oh it's on my hand okay but anyway see how I ended up going all the way around like that so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take some of my uh, polycrylic here and I'm going to put a coat on the outside edge here and then we're going to let it dry and then uh, we have to probably do a second coat of podge modge on this one actually I don't want to use that where's my brush here's my brush okay so I'm just going to take this Put a nice coat on here. But there you go. I did this with a 50 cent drawer that I got at Habitat for Humanity. They have like a restore here. And I love going in there. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna let this dry. I'll probably end up putting another coat of Mod Podge on it. And then the last thing I'll have to do is I did buy some hardware so that I've got handles on the end and I found these on sale. So I thought they were appropriate. See, they got the little leaves on them. Okay, everybody, that's a wrap. There you go, one DIY tray and then the shelves outside. I had fun making both of them. I hope you did too. And I hope even if you don't make something like this, it inspires you to maybe go out there and repurpose something and create something all your own. I'm gonna use this at my garden party on Sunday and I can always change the tray to the seasons because all I have to do is change out the paper and I can change the tray into something else. I love the way the handles turned out and I love the rope all the way around on the inside. So even though I painted the whole thing and I really didn't need to, you know, I didn't know I was gonna put the rope all the way around it until I actually started doing it. I was thinking I was just gonna put it on the bottom edge, but then once I started putting it on there, it was like, I really like that. So I just kept on doing it, so there you go. Uh, sometimes crafts, you know, morph into something else. So I just wanted to go over real quick that I am gonna be changing my video schedule. I have been doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm finding that I'm having a hard time keeping up with the video schedule and running the store and doing all the ordering and flipping the store over and just 
Christmas is coming and the Christmas walk is coming. I got so much to do. So I'm actually going to be changing my video schedule to Tuesdays and Thursdays. I think for me, I would rather put out two really good quality videos than just try and fly by the seat of my pants and put three out because I don't have enough time. So I will be changing to Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll still release them at six o'clock. And I hope that you will continue to watch us. If this is your first time here, welcome. I know we did DIY, but it's like dangerously hot outside. We right do now. have a garden renovation coming up and a whole bunch of fall projects and fall planting. So that'll be really fun as well. So if you have not subscribed, please do so below. Leave your comment, share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. You guys keep on gardening. I'm Michelle. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.